So let's go here, girl. <laughs> Who remembers me saying that he had to have something to do with it or he had to know about it? Who remembers me saying it, girl? Because I know I did. I know I did. Neighbors, get into this. Shout out the neighborhood talk, y'all. Former professional basketball player and ex-basketball wives cast member Lorenzo Gordon has pled guilty to fraud for misusing pandemic-related funds. What's even crazier is that this is happening about a year after his ex fiance British Williams and his baby mama was sentenced on 15 counts of fraud, okay? He was acting like he didn't know nothing about it. He basically played that lady out. <laughs> I don't, listen, I don't know what she had going on, but you know, I can believe it. <laughs> okay. Like he was definitely playing her out. And I was like, there's no way he didn't know. Like th this is, this is your baby mama. This is the person that's taking care of your kids. You was playing overseas. You ain't have no money like that neither. It, it, I said back then, uh, uh, you know what's going on. Cause he tried to play dumb. Dear British Williams, I saw the interview with not not you saying British, not dear British Williams, like you don't know who she is. Like you don't have to have private conversations about y'all daughter together, nigga. Why the informalities? Whenever men try to act as if they're so, you know, a formal with you all of a sudden, that is such an antagonistic bullshit ass ploy to me. Like, give me a fucking break, dude. Like, that's your baby mama. Like, why are you hitting her up? With the Brit dear British Williams. Like, boy, give me a break. Okay, hold up. I saw the interview with Carlos King. I heard a lot of lies. If you did anything illegal while dating me, I wasn't aware. You a lie. I told the government you were innocent in my eyes. I wasn't aware. I wasn't aware of any criminal activity during the years of us dating. I am a man. I can always stand on my truth. I made millions during my career. I didn't retire broke. Gambling was a major problem with our finances. I took you around the world. I brought you cars, purses, trips, businesses, and my career is how you got on TV. Even on the last season, I filmed for free to help you have a storyline, and I had money last year. So I had no reason to do TV, but I will take on the chin that I didn't take care of you two years out of the 10 years as a man. She's a scammer. And you knew she was a scammer. You want to protect your name from the FBI and the federal hood, sir? But we know you knew. You can say whatever you want to say on the internet, but we know you knew. He tried to play dumb. The 41-year-old pled guilty to theft of more than $250,000 in pandemic-related funds. Gordon admitted to fraudulently applying for multiple paycheck protection program loans. And in addition to that, three economic injury disaster loans. Y'all really be overdoing it. Y'all really, really be overdoing it. That's why y'all get caught. Y'all just really be egregious, girl. Gordon allegedly received $107,074 yeah, $107, in PPP loans and $165,700 in EIDL loans. On top of that, it's being reported he got money advances. According to reports, he applied for the money under several business names, including Logo Fitness LLC, Elite 50 Basketball Training LLC, and Elite Health and Fitness Company LLC. If he is found guilty, Gordon faces up to 10 years in prison and $250,000 fine. Who gonna raise the baby, bitch? Who's gonna raise the baby? I feel like this is the reason why she didn't put his ass on blast when he tried to laugh and play her out to the public. Because that's what I The energy he had, he an old goofy ass. To me... British, I hate to say it like this, but this is how we know you are all goofy ass bitch. because, and this is how like, you know, you just got to admit when you wrong. Okay. Because y'all was telling me that Kiki Palmer was goofy. Okay. And even though like I could see her being lame, I just couldn't see her being goofy. Right. But now that I look at it, whatever, whatever you are attached to, if yo, hold up, if you a goofy, then you goofy too. Yeah, yeah. If your the goofy, you goofy too. And Lorenzo is a big, stupid, goofy, airheaded looking ass. Okay, space, space cadet. Mm, nothing's going on up there. And so now, you know, y'all was right, I was wrong. Kiki goofy as fuck because her old man goofy, and you still over there playing goofy. This nigga goofy. And she didn't say anything because I'm sure she wanted him to be out of jail for her baby, for her daughter. I'm just saying. 
As previously stated, this is coming just one year after his ex fiance was found guilty of committing fraud and sentenced to four years in prison. Let me tell you something. I hope, I hope what the judge does is wait for her to get out to put you in, like they did the, the Judices. Didn't they do that with them, them New Jersey motherfuckers? They let they let her go in jail first, or him go child, something like that, something like that. But yeah, girl, I told y'all I felt like he knew or he had something to do with it. It didn't make no sense for her to be the onlyest one down there to the fraud. And y'all been together all them years. No, if, if you was if she was frauding, you was frauding too, because you ain't have shit. That's what it's giving. Child, I think uh child British in jail looking good. I think she might have like two more years left or something like that. Okay. <clears throat> So let's go on. Let's move on. 